Hi everyone, this is Ida of Creative to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share a card that I created, but before I do that, I want to share with you uh not not I didn't use the whole collection, but the collection that this uh the dies that I use came from. As you all know, I have been uh, using or spotlighting a lot of carnation craft uh, dies in my uh, projects. Um, I pay for them for myself. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. So when I share these, it's really my own true opinion of what I feel about these um, dies or this company. I love the, their work. I love the design. I love the dies. And even though they're from the UK and, it, you know, the shipping's a little bit more and all that, I absolutely love, love, love the dies. And for me, they're worth every penny. So I wanted to share with you. And I don't have the whole set yet. I'm waiting on a couple more pieces that I did order to go. Uh, you know, they're not in this whole collection, but they're part like that you can buy separate. So anyway, this is one of the dies that the, the set that comes in the main basic set. So this one's called Celebrate the Season. And it's, it looks like a family is gathered around a dinner table and they're holding up a champagne uh, flute. But for me, I would probably cut that out. And for me, it would be a family that is praying together. So and it comes with the detail cut. And then it comes with two layering pieces. It comes with a layering piece, then it comes with a split one. So they're they're known for always doing on most of their dies is the split one where I could put it on the edge of the card, on the bottom of the card, on the top of the card, and only cut out half and line up my image there. So I, I really love their dies. So this is one of them. And then the other one is called Warm and Fuzzy. Same thing. It's the fuzzy uh, mittens. And it's got like little uh, pom-poms and the cording where the mittens are tied together. Again, it comes with the... This one comes with the detail cut. And then it comes with the silhouette. So that one's in, in that set. And I don't really do the mice thing, but some people do. Uh, so they have these, they're called priceless gifts. So you see the two little gifts right there and the little uh, mice with the little scarf and the hat. And these come with the layering piece to each one and then the detail cuts and then the two little gifts. So there's that one. And then here is their Santa. It's called Father Christmas. And I did uh, print him out. Let me see if I can find him really quick so I can share him with you. Uh, that way you can see what it looks like printed out. If I Hopefully I won't have a landslide here on top of my desk. Because I tend to... Um, I tend to... Have a lot of things piled up and... <laughs> When I pick something up, it, everything falls. So let's see. I think it's over here. Hopefully I won't be too much in your way. Let me see if I can find the Santa. Here are the images. Uh, some of the images that I have printed out. And you usually get uh, the... They're called vignettes. And they give you one for free, which is the original. And then they have other ones that they do. And then you can purchase those separate. But when I purchased this, they had a little bonus going on that if you bought the collection, you would get all the color vignettes uh, for free. So there is the blue, one of the blue frames with the blue poinsettias. I also did it in, this is more like a fuchsia with some pink in it. And I think that's very pretty. Oh, this is another collection that I'm still waiting on. Let me move that off to the side. Here it is in the gold, you know, different elements. And here it is in like a cranberry and red. Here's some bows. So anyway, I'm still waiting on some things and I'm, I'm going to look for the Santa is the one that I really uh, want to share with you because some of these other dyes, I don't have them yet, uh, but they are beautiful. I thought I had printed out Santa, but we'll see. Did I not print him out? You know what? Maybe I didn't. 
Yeah, I do. So here is the Santa. And what you do with this is you score it down this black line and you fold it and then you line up your die. Uh, what I normally do is I score it and fold it and then I open it back up. And when you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see the image behind it. And I'll add some glue and I'll fold it back up and just set it aside for a few minutes for the glue to dry. Then I cut it. So when I cut out my image, it's double sided on both sides. So I like that. I'll share one with you that I already cut that is double sided. I'll share with you what they look like. That way, um, you know what I'm talking about. So here is one of the images cut out. That's the front of it. And then there's the back. So even if I curve these petals, all you see is color. You're not going to see any white. Here's another little tree. Again, color in the back. So that's why I print this way. So there isn't ever any white showing. But like I said, I do add the glue after I folded it. That way when I cut it out, I don't have to take them apart and glue them together. I already did it before. Uh, before I cut them, but I do you do have to print on an a4 paper at a hundred percent so There is the Santa and he's called Father Christmas and he does come with like the snow tracks and the silhouette and I believe Hold on. I Think this one does not have the split one. It has two layering pieces and the detail so there's that. And then here's that beautiful frame that I shared with you uh, in the blues and in the cranberry. So this is this frame. And every single line that you see here plus the color and then these lines here are all dies that are in this one set. So you get three layering pieces, the detail work. Then you get the three layering pieces for the inside of the, the wreath. And then you get the poinsettias and flowers and berries like... It's so many dyes in these uh, collections. That's why I like them. Here are, is the sentiment ones. It's called the season, for the season sentiments. Merry Christmas, warm wishes, and Christmas hugs and kisses. So I love this one as well. Again, you have the layering pieces. And you have some little, looks like little, um, what do you, like flourishes. And the layering pieces do have two layer and sizes and then the detail one for all three of them and then here's another one that i don't think i've even printed out yet so i definitely haven't cut it out but like i said every everywhere you see a gray line plus the color all those are individual dyes so this is a very very nice set then it comes with the layering pieces for the gifts so pretty can't wait to play with that and then here is a square frame. It's called the Classic Christmas Frame. Okay, this one was called The Joy of Giving. And you can't get these individually, but really it's cheaper when you just buy. When they first come out, they do offer it like at the best price. And it's cheaper for me because by the time I buy three or four dies from the collection and not the whole collection, it already added up to the amount of the whole collection with the sale price. So here's classic Christmas frame. Again, here are the pine cones. I shared with you the gold pine cones, but I didn't print out the frame. So this would cut out all those gold pine cones, and then you would layer them onto the frame. Again, you have all these dies. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven dies in this one. So the collection is very, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to share my card with you that I created. I created this card. You know what? I'm missing one die. I'm missing one. Hold on one second. The last die in the collection, and I'm going to put it in sideways because it's huge. It's this one right here. It comes with like the little houses, some scroll corner work, some garland for the tree, the little uh, Santa sleigh, um, clouds, or snow. It, it could be either or. It could be, yeah, I believe it's snow, but it could be clouds. The tree, the window, I think this is mistletoe. 
then you get the star and then this border set right here so this is a very large set so that's part of the collection as well so this is the card that i created using that collection and it's very 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 dimensional look at that guys look at how dimensional it is because i wanted to add lights to it and I had seen what everybody else was doing, and and they were very, very pretty. But I always tried to do something just a little bit different and not really play follow the leader. But I, I, I don't know. I just like to do something different. And it's not a whole lot different than what everybody else was creating. I just added more layers and more dimension. I also on Amazon found these lights. And I think there's 12 in here. What I like about these lights is that they have... A little blue button here and this little blue button you push it and you have three modes on the light so they blink very fast a medium blink and then a steady uh, turn when they're turned on just a steady glow so um, and I bought them bought them by accident not knowing that they had that feature and I'm you know sometimes accidents are good so I love the way that um, these look anyway here is the card and i did create it into an easel card uh, the nat nativity set in here is a tattered lace die that i just shared not long ago from an ebay seller that um, had gotten the dies mixed up and he sent it or she sent it to me for free free of charge and i love it it's beautiful and it is the perfect size to work with these frames and it does come with uh, the wiseman as well but i didn't use them here uh, but here is the layering, the, the oval frame, and I did do all the layering on it to give it dimension. I love this poinsettia. So even if I were to curl this in or any way I wanted to, there is still color on the back side. So you don't see any white. And that's what I like about the way they design their artwork where you can it can be double sided and it's the exact same image. Um, I did add some very, very thick foam, and I will link this in the description box or something similar because I bought this uh, foam tape because it was at a good price, thinking it was double-sided, and it really isn't, and it's very, very thick, and I like the thickness, but it wasn't double-sided. How did I take care of that? I would add pieces of the red line tape to the opposite side so I was able to use it, so it's not going to go to waste. But I know there's some that is already double-sided and you don't have to do that extra. And uh, the way I added the little uh, die cuts in here are on a, if I hold it up, you can see that they're on a little acetate strip. And that's how I got them. One, that's a great way to stabilize them. And two, I mean, you could do this into a shaker card and add snow or whatever if you wanted to, but I didn't want to. Uh, so you would do the full sheet of acetate but because I had different layers I wanted some of the, the die cuts to be further to the back some in the middle and some raised up to the front so that's how I achieved that I'm gonna show you the back it is an easel card so I haven't done anything in the back but here again is that double-sided die cut that you don't see any white you see the color that is on the front on the back so when you open this up I did use the sentiment so there is the Christmas Merry Christmas sentiment with another poinsettia I did layer up all the pieces here so it's the big one and then the medium and then the smallest one so I love that you can do the layering pieces it does sit up like this but um, what I really like I like the dimension I it's gonna it's probably about an inch and a quarter if not an inch and a half thick and I love that. So this is very weighty. Even if I wanted to open it up, up a little bit more, um, you know, I would have to add something back here or something because it is very weighty on top. Um, let me open it back up. But uh, where it's at for me works fine. And let me lift it up a little bit so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And it just so happens that when I started adding the lights, uh, the little button, the little blue button that you push to turn it on and off ended up being right here where the center of this flower is. That was just a happy accident and um, and I love that. So I'm going to turn it on for you so you can see how it, right there it's blinking rapidly. 
And then if I push it again, there is blinking a little bit more slowly. And then here is the, the steady light. I'm going to turn off the lights and hopefully you'll still be able to see it. So you can get a better look at the way it looks. Let me, uh, and I push it one more time, it'll turn it off, but there it is blinking. And here it is. So I love that you can do that the way you can do with your Christmas tree. So this would definitely be a great home decor piece. Beautiful home decor piece or one of those, this is not one of those cards that you're going to create and sell for $10 because it is a lot of work. This is something you would, you know, charge appropriately for or make for a family member or a really, really good friend because it is a lot of die cutting and, and layering and trying to figure out where your lights go and all of that. But I love, love, love the way it came out. Also, another thing that I did was... um. I didn't glue down the little box with the batteries. That way you can just use a pokey tool and slide it out and replace batteries if you need to and just tuck it back in. But it's kind of snug in there that it doesn't fall out. So that is what I created and I really, really love the way this looks. I hope that this inspires you and gives you ideas and maybe we'll do a step-by-step. -step. Um, I did add some add, uh, some pictures on Facebook. I took pictures of the, my project step-by-step -step so they could see how I attached the lights, what layer I put on next and all of that good stuff. And I'm hoping that, you know, you can understand by looking at those pictures. But that's what I created. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and uh, God bless. The links will be in the description box if um, to Carnation Craft and for the lights that I bought. Thank you so much. And the foam tape. Bye.